My name is Abdurazak Saad Namdas. I represent the people of Genye, Jada, Tongo, Mawe, Belwa. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Adama State. Mr. Speaker, let me join my colleagues to also commend the mover of this motion and to also commend you and the leadership of this House for taking a proactive step. Of course, you cut short your journey to address this very important matter, and therefore we have to commend, more particularly, Mr. Speaker, that you mentioned in the speech that uh, this House is ready to fund anybody who wants to uh, take a legal action. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that just like my colleagues just mentioned here, what South Africans have done to us, I think is very, very bad. It's un-African. Africans, we are known to be our brother's keepers. We don't even have border lines. We regard ourselves as one country. But for people to decide after helping them during the apartheid regime, and to come forth to say that uh, we are taking over jobs, and I don't know which jobs they are talking about. Mr. Speaker, I must stay on record that there are about almost 2.3 million immigrants living in South Africa, out of which 1.6 million are black Africans. It's only 700,000 that are other colors. So, Mr. Speaker, out of these 1.6 uh, Africans that live in South Africa, they contribute only 0.001 percent. And that's what they contribute to the economy uh, in terms of holding good of, uh, uh, serious offices. Mr. Speaker, it is the white minority that control 85 or 87 percent of the economy of South Africa. We, are, we black Africans, have some businesses, actually, but we are not CEOs. So, but when we provide jobs, if you go to South Africa today, we provided jobs for even South Africans. Our people are married to South Africans. They have children with South Africans. So they are supposed to be treated as Africans. Yet they go ahead to fight against us. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that I was a member of the Pan-African Parliament in the Eighth Assembly. And we should all know that Pan-African Parliament is made up of five members from uh, 54 countries. We, it's an arm of an AU. Therefore, I will urge the African members that are in this uh, parliament uh, to, when they get to uh, South Africa, because the sitting of the Pan-African Parliament is in Midland, South Africa, where all African legislators stay in South Africa. So it will be un-African to say that a country that hosts African legislators to turn around and be fighting Africans. This is very shameful, and therefore it is important that our members here, the delegation of Pan-African Parliament in Nigeria Parliament, should register protest when they get to South Africa during the session. They should make a protest that this is actually bad and it cannot continue. But Mr. Speaker, I want to also say that as Africans, we must also take advantage to see the number of businesses, just like one of my colleagues said here, what are the business interests of South Africa here for record purposes? Let us also know what our Nigerian counterparts are doing over there. Uh, because people cannot lose so many property and they just do it like that. Mr. Speaker, I would like to suggest that we should take actual uh, account of businesses and individuals that lost their property in South Africa with the view to say that they should be compensated. Because we need to know there are people that have already been repatriated, but some came back hurriedly. I think documentation should be done. And finally, Mr. Speaker and honorable colleagues, well, I condemn the act. Well, I believe that it is very bad. We should also know that still we should not forget the spirit of Africa, that since the South African government has come forth and realized their mistakes, and they've sent a special envoy, and have actually apologized, we should make sure that we hold them accountable. They must show us proof that they are going to take care of uh, Nigerians that have lost their property, and we too will review our position. I thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity. I thank you for my contribution.